And this is the split from hive number one originally. It's starting to lose traction as to what's what. I'm gonna have to number them individually now. We're just gonna have a quick look in here. I wanna see how they're doing in the, uh, the honey super, which is actually a full size hive body. Some uh, earwigs up there. I heard a rumor the other day that they eat mites. So if that's a fact, then they're welcome. Bees on the cover. There is a queen excluder here, so she can't get above the queen excluder. Um, as far as honey, how are we doing? Let's take a look. The outside frame. There's a beetle. Damn beetles everywhere this year. This again. There's two beetles right on this frame. Killed one, the other one fell off. I expect it will fly right back in. And that's all honey and nectar. Some Swiffer pads. Well, the bees are getting stuck on it. That's to be expected. Hopefully you can release them and they fly away. There is a beetle there. Caught on it. I'll kill that because it's still alive. There's two on there alive. Squish them. Okay, so this, the third frame in. Again, all honey and nectar. There is some open cells still there. The next frame is being drawn out. The next two frames are being drawn out. Yeah, I, they've still got lots of work up here to do. It's been drawn out and it's got nectar in it, this one. This side, there's no, no nectar in it yet. they still got to finish drawing that one out. And the last three there are not drawn out. They've started a little bit on, on all of them, just a little bit. But there's plenty of work there for them. kind of all I really wanted to look at to be honest was uh, if they've got room up here then they got work to do I guess what I should do is go into the box below just to double check make sure there are eggs being being laid it's not an inspection unless you see those things you gotta remind yourself that sometimes. Plenty of bees down here. Okay, that metal queen excluder. Let's remove that. A lot of white comb down here, all new comb. These are pretty calm. Not using any smoke. Okay, so this is new comb, partially drawn out, not completely drawn out. There's no queen on this frame. She'd have no business on this frame. Now the next one, oh boy. That's thick drawn comb. They used the space from the other frame that I just took out to make this frame particularly thick. Oh, and it's a medium, that's my bad. And it's all kind of, there is a little bit of brood there actually. 
Yep, there's some brood. She's backfilling the brood there. She's backfilling that area with brood. There is a lot of bees in here. This was my original queen from hive number one. So she's from last year. All that brood. A little bit of drone brood and worker brood there. Quite a bit of worker brood there. This is, uh, yeah, a medium frame. They've drawn out some more brood. This is from last week. They've drawn this out since last week. So they are drawing comb out like crazy in this box, but not the next box up, which is weird. Why aren't they going up? There's a queen cup there, nothing in it. Again, there is some comb that fell off because it's attached to the bottom. Causing me a little bit of grief here that I haven't fixed yet and I can't fix this week either because I don't have any more frames. Not nice frames anyway. Oh, that's heavy. I need to put stuff down so I can manipulate some comb here. <sighs> okay, what do we have here? There's my queen. There she is. So there is the queen from this hive. She's a good queen. Okay, so thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys coming by and uh, checking out my apiary. The swarm box is growing substantially, so I added a box to that. And uh, my nuke that I made from hive number one is growing really well to the point that I was able to take a couple of frames of brood and give it to my weak hive. In fact, I gave them five frames of nectar, brood, and honey so that they could have five good frames of uh, resources, including the eggs and larvae and uh, cat brood, so that the queen hopefully will come off of the side or the bottom of the frame and come up onto those frames. Hopefully that's, maybe that's the issue. Maybe she just didn't like those frames. She didn't want to lay on those frames. Well. Now she's got all this fresh wax in there. Maybe that's maybe that's a thing that's going to entice her to start laying. Um, but up until now, she's not really been laying too good, and I haven't had a hard time finding her. But there she was at the bottom of the hive on the on the side of the hive. I managed to pick her up and put her onto the frame, and then replace some of those frames. So let's hope things start going well. It can be quite stressful, a little bit overwhelming at times when you've got a lot to do. Um, but there it is. That's the wonderful world of uh, beekeeping. Um, you can't always get it right. Sometimes you make mistakes. I feel like I made a few mistakes today. I kind of rushed through things. Maybe what I should do is slow down, just do one hive. But there's so much to do and I've got to go to work tomorrow. So there you go. <laughs> what are you going to do? Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and uh, leave a comment. I love comments and I like to reply to comments. And uh, if there's anything that you notice that maybe I'm doing wrong or that I should change or whatever, let me know in the comments, please. Take care. Bye now.